Hey guys, Lynn Entwee with the Red Carpet Report. Behind me is the ninth annual Holly Shorts Film Festival. We're going to talk to a bunch of directors, actors, writers. You're going to be inspired by some of the amazing films in this festival. Come on, let's go check it out. JT, what makes a great short? A great short, the most important thing is a great ending. Is that I it? Believe, I, that's what I believe. I believe that you have to tell a, a story and you have to have a hard-hitting ending. I, I, I watch a lot of shorts and I really believe that if you can tell a story with a beginning, a middle, but most importantly an ending in 10, 20 minutes, then you've got a good short. So how many shorts did you have to watch for this specific year? Lots of shorts. A lot of them? So many shorts. Um, it was great. Like They send me a, you know, a huge file with a lot of shorts in them. I don't know. I may have watched 30. I may have watched 40. But I watched a lot of them. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a pleasure because they only accept good shorts to this fest. So it makes it really hard to do your job. Do you have a favorite? You don't have to tell me, but do you? Absolutely, I have a favorite. Yeah. Now, what are you working on now? Because I know that you've won in the past. Yeah. You're on the jury this year. What's next for you? Um, I have, uh, I've been doing a lot of commercials and music videos as a director. Um, I've been writing films for small studios. Uh, but uh, what I'm most excited about is I have, a, uh, I have a short film coming up that I'm going to direct in November called uh, Flowers in December. Um, and I have another short film in January called Tactics that I'm going to direct. And then I have my very first feature, a Western called Outlaws and Angels. Uh, that I love Western. Well, this one's, uh, it's not your, uh, I hope you watch it. It's not your typical Western. It's uh, definitely a brutal home invasion film that takes place in the Wild West. So, tackles a lot of bizarre issues about things that happen on the prairie that we've never really thought about before. Where are you guys going to be filming or you don't know that yet? We're looking at New Mexico, but we might end up local, depending on what makes more sense with the numbers. It's all up to my producers, unfortunately. You guys should go to Canada, New Brunswick. I see it. The wilderness. It might be too cold when my actors have to get naked and like jump in the river. <laughs> That's it. It's too cold. We're not doing that. Not going to Canada. Yeah, you're right. It might be cold. Um, where can our viewers follow you? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Facebook? Uh, my website is noremake.com because I'll never make a remake in my entire career. I'll tell you that right now. My production company is called No Remake Pictures, but uh, you can follow me on uh, on Facebook. Uh, no remake pictures. We're on Facebook and uh, JT Molnar. JT, there. though, okay, now you just, I have one more question. Yeah. I was told that in life there's only seven real storyline plot lines. So if that's true, then like 20 years from now you might be remaking something, don't you think? I already think the plot lines have been exhausted, but art isn't about plot lines, it's about ways to tell the story. And, Good um, answer. I think that, that most films now, even the original films, are regurgitations of old plot lines, but they're told in their own unique way. That's it. You answered my question. I get, I get you now. I was about to fight you, but now I'm like, no, I get what he's saying why, now. Why steal somebody else's title and their characters. Just make your own movie. Yeah. I almost said an expletive there. I apologize. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have your own short film, why don't you go ahead and enter it? And then maybe next year we'll be interviewing you on the red carpet. Bye for now.